Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. American Pickers ratings drop to lowest of season as Mike Wolf reveals show fired Frank Fritz over his opiate addiction. Ratings have been low compared to previous seasons, as the October 30th episode saw the worst numbers since the premiere. Just 442,000 viewers tuned in for the DIY DeLorean, which saw Mike and Jersey John go hog wild for a four-generation carny collection, complete with carousel horses, toy tanks, and bumper cars. The premiere episode brought in 565,000 fans as Mike picked through Evil Nevil memorabilia. The second episode of the season, which aired on October 16, brought in just 463,000 viewers and over 100,000 drop in just one week. The third episode of season 26, The Great Rizzoli, saw a bit of a surge with 566,000 viewers tuning in. The ratings for the current season are low compared to season 25. Season 25, which kicked off with a two-episode premiere in December 2023, brought in 723,000 viewers for the first episode and 676,000 for the second. Episode 3 had 880,000 viewers tune in. By the January 24 episode, ratings surged to 948,000 viewers. The numbers dropped back down through most of February with the lowest on February 14 having 774,000 viewers and the highest on February 28 with 966,000. The season finale on March 27 brought in 832,000 viewers. When Frank was on the show, ratings were over a million viewers. Frank last appeared on American Pickers in March 2020. He left the series to undergo back surgery. In 2021, Mike revealed he was not returning to the series. Frank told the U.S. Sun during a 2021 interview that he was feuding with his co-star Mike. Frank said at the time, I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He knew my back was messed up, but he didn't call me up and ask how I was doing. That's just how it is. The show is tilted towards him 1000%. I can't even bend that far down to show you how much. That's fine. It's like you've got Aerosmith and there's Steven Tyler and he's the front man. I found my spot, I'm second, and he's number one on the show. That's no problem with me, maybe he does have a problem. Frank then said it would be hard to put the show on after not talking to somebody for two years. Frank added, I'm just trying to get through life like everybody else and be as happy as I possibly can. Life is what you put into it. If you don't put much into it, you don't get a lot out of it. In an interview with People, Mike revealed the reason Frank did not return to the History Channel series. He explained how during the pandemic, Frank injured his back while moving items around his Yoa home and underwent surgery. With that time off and him having surgery, it was like the perfect storm. He became addicted to opioids, and that's when everything changed, Mike said. Mike said he staged an intervention with Frank's loved ones. I remember running into him like a month later, Mike said. He said he was just going to handle everything on his own, and I asked him how he was doing. He said, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, I'm really fine. And then like a month later, he was gone. And so watching Frank doing some of the things that he was doing, it was really hard. But Mike claimed Frank continued to struggle with addiction when filming started, as they fought really hard to get him into rehab, and he never ever gave up on his friend. Mike claimed production asked Frank for negative drug tests, but he didn't provide them. Mike said the network just finally made the decision, despite the star's mixed emotions about doing that. Despite the firing and feud, the two ultimately made up, as Mike said of the reunion, it was beautiful. He was struggling with addiction. I know how judgmental the public can be. And so that's why when we did end up speaking again, it was so easy for me to forgive him because I knew it wasn't him talking, it was his addiction talking. A source claimed to the U.S. Sun about how Frank's substance abuse battle began. Because of Frank's battle with Crohn's, he was on medication that left his bones weak. When he broke his back, he needed to undergo surgery. That's when he got addicted to pain medication, the insider claimed. Crohn's is a bowel disease that causes inflammation in the digestive tract. The source alleged that Frank went to rehab twice to combat his addiction issues. He got out and then he suffered the stroke, the insider alleged. 
In the July 2021 interview with the U.S. Sun, Frank revealed he entered treatment for alcohol abuse at the Abbey Center in Bettendorf, Iowa for 77 days. He was sober for 11 months at the time of the interview. But a year later in July 2022, Frank suffered a stroke at his Yoa farmhouse. Frank's close friends filed a guardianship and conservatorship for him soon after because his decision-making capacity was so impaired. He passed away in hospice on September 30, 2024, at age 60. Mike told people of Frank's final moments, I got the call that he wasn't doing well. I just feel blessed that I was able to get there. I was there for about an hour before he passed, and I was holding his hand and rubbing his chest when he took his last breath. I took my fingers and I closed his eyes. Mike said of his friend, he was an extremely hard worker. He was like no one I'd ever met in my whole life. He was a beautiful, beautiful person that, to be honest with you, who knows what our lives would have been like if there was never a show. I just want people to know who he was. The ratings for American Pickers hit a significant low, marking the season's worst viewership numbers, and fans across social media are abuzz. After an explosive revelation by Mike Wolf that Frank Fritz was actually let go due to struggles with opiate addiction, the already loyal but shaken audience began to question the foundations of a show they've supported for years. For over a decade, Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz were the heart of American Pickers. They were two childhood friends who shared a passion for history and relics of America's past. Each episode felt like an adventure into forgotten corners of the country, as they rummaged through barns and basements, unearthing treasures and breathing life back into them. But the show was never only about the finds. What made it a staple for viewers was the chemistry between Mike and Frank, their brotherly bickering, and their genuine camaraderie on the open road. Yet somewhere along the line, things shifted. Mike was seen more often on his own or with his brother Robbie Wolf filling Frank's usual seat. Fans knew Frank had gone through back surgery and was dealing with health issues, but they never expected that the pair's dynamic had truly ended until Mike finally addressed the elephant in the room. Frank was no longer a part of American Pickers. As the ratings began to plummet, Mike went on record about what had happened. Frank wasn't absent only due to his back pain and health issues, he revealed, but was struggling with a serious opiate addiction. In the statement Mike was honest but cautious, explaining that Frank's health struggles were exacerbated by addiction, which ultimately impacted his ability to continue on the show. The revelation was both sobering and deeply saddening for fans who'd watched Frank evolve on screen for years. On social media, reactions poured in, some of them sympathetic to both Mike and Frank, others critical. We miss Frank's humor. He made the show what it is. One fan wrote, while another added, if Mike cared he would have stood by Frank instead of cutting him loose. The narrative was spiraling out of control, with some fans feeling betrayed by Mike and others criticizing the show for not being transparent sooner. They questioned if Frank's addiction truly warranted his firing or if there was more to the story. The initial shock led to a ripple effect. Long-time fans began scrutinizing the episodes without Frank, and many found that the spark was missing. Robbie Wolf, Mike's brother, simply didn't bring the same energy to the screen, despite his efforts. The banter wasn't the same, and the dynamic felt forced. Robbie had his own way of picking, but viewers who tuned in for the old-school friendship between Frank and Mike felt that Robbie could never fill that void. As a result, episode after episode, fewer people tuned in, and ratings continued their downward trend. Yet Mike felt like he was in an impossible situation, while he empathized with Frank, as he revealed in a recent interview, he also had a show to run, a crew to manage and contracts to fulfill. He had supported Frank privately, encouraging him to seek help, but when it came down to it, he felt the responsible decision for the show, and everyone involved was to proceed without him. Ratings reports painted a clear picture. Audiences missed Frank, and even the intrigue surrounding his departure wasn't enough to keep viewers hooked. For a show like American Pickers, authenticity and nostalgia were the backbone, and without Frank, it felt like a different production entirely. It didn't help that this revelation came at a time when viewers were already skeptical of reality TV's portrayal of real life. Many fans believed they deserved the full truth from the start, feeling blindsided and a little used.